Dear friend, I'm praying that all is well with you and that you enjoy good health in the same way that you prosper spiritually. 3 John 1-2 There are millions of people in the world suffering every day from the some sort of struggling. It can be physical or mental. Healing is a crying need for many individuals. But there is also good news of healing from all the sickness of the body or mind by the power of God. When Jesus was walking on his earth, he healed many people to manifest the truth that our God is the healer. The Bible says, there is nothing impossible with God. So relying on the word of God, we can say that we can surely experience healing in Jesus' name. There is amazing power in the name of Jesus. I have experienced it and personally, you can too. You just need to surrender yourself to God by accepting Jesus Christ in your heart as your Lord and Savior. Repent of your sins and seek God with your whole heart. The whole crowd wanted to touch him because power was going out from him and he was healing everyone. Luke 6.19 Though your prayers may not always be answered, never doubt the power of Jesus. But so, you will know that the human one has authority on the earth to forgive sins. He said to the man who was paralyzed, Get up, take your cot, and go home. The man got up and went home. Matthew 9, 6-7 No ailment is beyond God's help. Paralysis of the body, paralysis of the soul are all subject to the cleansing power of the Holy Spirit. But the Son of Righteousness will rise on those revering my name. Healing will be in its wings so that you will go forth and jump about like calves in the stall. Malachi 4.2 Healing begins with a spirit of reverence. Open your heart to God and soon you may be leaping for joy. When he came into the house, the blind men approached him. Jesus said to them, Do you believe I can do this? Yes, Lord, they replied. Then Jesus touched their eyes and said, It will happen for you just as you have believed. Their eyes were opened. Then Jesus sternly warned them, Make sure nobody knows about this. Matthew 9.28-30 The inspiring words of amazing grace, I was, was blind, but now I see. Heal me, Lord, and I'll be healed. Save me, and I'll be saved, for you are my heart's desire. Jeremiah 17:14 Healing goes hand in hand with thanksgiving and praise. God rewards a grateful heart. Jesus went home with Peter and saw Peter's mother-in-law lying in bed with a fever. He touched her hand and the fever left her. Then she got up and served them. Matthew 8:14-15 Gratitude and service to others flow naturally from God healing touch. Demons also came out of many people. They screamed, You are God's son. But he spoke harshly to them and wouldn't allow them to speak because they recognized that he was the Christ. Luke 4:41. 4, Even the most debilitating and alarming illnesses fall within the healing of God's hand. It was certainly our sickness that he carried and our sufferings that he bore, but he thought him afflicted, struck down by God and tormented. He was pierced because of our rebellions and crushed because of our crimes. He bore the punishment that made us whole. By his wounds, we are healed. Like sheep, we had all wandered away, each going its own way, but the Lord let fall on him all our crimes. Isaiah 53, 4-6 The sacrifice of the Savior makes healing possible for all who call on Him. 
Then a woman who had been bleeding for 12 years came up behind Jesus and touched the hem of his clothes. She thought, if I only touch his robe, I'll be healed. When Jesus turned and saw her, he said, Be encouraged, daughter. Your faith has healed you, and the woman has healed from that time on. Matthew 9.20.22 Any brass with a holy, if accompanied by faith, may produce miraculous result. Turn around, say to Hezekiah, My people leader, this is what the Lord, the God of your ancestor David says, I have heard your prayer and have seen your tears. So now I'm going to heal you. Three days from now, you will be able to go up to the Lord's temple. 2 Kings 25 God has helped heal the faithful since the beginning. Now, when Jesus had come down from the mountain, large crowds followed him. A man with a skin disease came, kneeled before him and said, Lord, if you want, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched him, saying, I don't want to. Become clean instantly with his skin disease was clean. Matthew 8, 1-3 No one is beyond the grace of God. Have mercy on me, Lord, because I am frail. Heal me, Lord, because my bones are shaking in terror. Psalm 6, 2 God hears you at your most fearful. Do not hesitate to reach out in your moments of greatest need. Wherever he went, villages, cities, or farming communities, they would place the sick in the marketplaces and beg him to allow them to touch even the hem of his clothing. Everyone who touched him was healed. March 6:56. The Lord's healing grace is available to all who approach Him with a faithful heart. Come to me, all you who are struggling hard and carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Put on my yoke and learn from me. I am gentle and humble, and you will find rest for yourselves. My yoke is easy to bear, and my burden is light. Matthew 11:28-30. Rest your weary soul with our Lord, and He will grant your peace of mind, body, and soul. In the hardest days, God is your Savior, and will cradle your pain away with His love. Peace I live with you, my peace I give you. I give to you, not as the Word gives. Don't be troubled or afraid. John 14:27. The gift of peace is greater than any riches can bring. Have faith that the Lord will guide you toward a peaceful future. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. There will be no mourning, crying, or pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. Revelations 21.4 The Good News Struggles are essential to the soul, but the Lord will always watch over you, like a shepherd over his sheep. He will support you in trying times.